So this video I was going to concentrate on sentry mode. I'm going to take a little deeper dive into sentry mode, uh, the thumb drive that's required, the formatting. A lot of it will relate to the 2022 Model X and S refresh, but I think most of it should translate to the Model 3 and Y as well. I just uh, am not sure if it's as automated as it is in the SNX that come with the thumb drives. So that's what I'll be covering. I will uh, talk about sentry mode and the features and how the files are saved, uh, how you can format the drive if you want to do it manually on a computer, how the videos can be saved, where the thumb drive is, and then I'll just break down the thumb drive folder structure. The thumb drive that came with my Model X is very nice and well built. It's sturdy. It's a hard metal. Wouldn't easily be damaged. It's a 128 gigabyte drive. So with that inserted and it comes ready to go, all you have to do is click the Sentry Mode button, the red dot you'll see in the lower right from your app to activate it. Or you could preset in the actual settings of your Tesla to always have it enabled and it gives you two exceptions, two options for exceptions. One being home and one being work. And I find that works well because I don't want to be in a position where I forgot to enable sentry mode and miss some damage that might be done to the vehicle. Putting the thumb drive in the glove box, it's very tight in there so I put my fingers above and below it otherwise it's very hard to get inserted. Here you can see I have sentry mode always on but I'm excluding the home in the upper right. So the other feature I want to set is to save dash cam video on honk because that's simply the easiest way. So if something happens you can just honk your horn and it's going to go into another folder that won't be overwritten and I'm going to get into that a little bit more in a second. And I'll show you some of the actual camera footage on the new Model X refresh. So stick around to the end. Like and subscribe if you uh, enjoy the video and want to see uh, what's yet to come. Another way you can do it is just hit the little car icon on the Model S and X or swipe from left to right and it gets you to the same place. When you hit the recording button, it actually moves a copy into a save folder so it doesn't get overwritten. So if you want to get all the videos and understand the folders, just pull the drive out of your Tesla. Then just insert the thumb drive in your computer. Here I'm using a Mac. Now I've already changed into the directory, but you see up top where it says Tesla Cam. Well, that has to be the, be the root most folder on the thumb drive. And have that thumb drive formatted XFAT. It's going to be the most compatible. It's what Tesla formats it as. If you try to format it a Mac file system like EXT2 or 3, you're limiting yourself on where you can actually ever download or look at these uh, videos from. So just format it XFAT. And now I'm going to talk about uh, the three folders you see once you change into the Tesla Cam directory. Note, if you do this manually, the T and the C have to be ca capitalized. You could just format a drive and create that folder. But why not use what's included with your Tesla, as I showed earlier, uh, where I formatted the drive from within the interface. So recent clips. Let's talk about that first. Recent clips is constantly getting recordings. It keeps an hour's worth of videos in there at all times. The videos are approximately one minute each, I believe, and there are going to be four views. But after 60 minutes, that next cycle happens and you're going to lose some of the oldest data. That's why it's so important to either set up to save your videos when you honk or know how to manually navigate to the button I showed you just 
a minute ago. Saved clips are obviously where those clips that were saved goes. So you won't lose those. They're not going to be overwritten. Uh, well, if you start running out of space, perhaps. And then Sentry Mode Events go into the Sentry Clips. And I'm actually taking the time to dive a little deeper into the folder structure and how these files are named because of an episode I saw on Wham Bam Tesla Cam where a guy used his phone to do a screen recording of what was in his Tesla. So it was a much uh, worse quality than if he would have just removed the thumb drive and got the original video off the thumb drive. So I'm going to go into each of these folders uh, and show you how it's broken up next. So here I've changed into the recent clips directory and that's that 60 minute cycle. And you can see what you will have for each event or each series of files. Again, there are about, I think these are a little shorter, but about a minute long, which is about 33 megabytes each. But you get a front view, a back view, left repeater, and right repeater always being stored constantly. So if you did have an event and you didn't save it, or it's a longer event, uh, you might want to just grab the whole recent clips folder. So I'll show you a couple views of these videos to get an idea of the clarity of the new Model X refresh cameras. So it was around dusk when I did this, but it still showed up pretty clearly. So here are the four views. Each one of these views had its own file in that directory I just showed you. One other thing I forgot to mention is the naming convention. It's the year, the month, the day, and then the hour in military, minutes, and seconds. So the timestamp itself gives you an idea of uh, the date and time. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Remember, key points are format your thumb drive XFAT if you're doing it manually from within your computer. With the S and X, I don't know about the 3 and Y, I would just recommend plugging the thumb drive in and using the format feature I showed you. And then if you have a long event, know that you have that 60 minute buffer. So just make sure you pull out the thumb drive and then you would have all 60 minutes instead of continually having to hit that save button. So tips and tricks. I will see you on the next episode.